When I started in my mathematical degree, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do with it, but I knew I didn't want to just stay cooped up in uh, an office somewhere doing things on a whiteboard that aren't practical. I did my bachelor's in mathematical sciences at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. And while I was there, I had an internship with BBN Raytheon, and I did a research experience for undergraduates in RAU, doing a project that was for work for the Bose company. And so those two experiences made me realize I was interested in doing uh, mathematics for businesses. I always liked solving problems in school, but I really didn't like the problems that had just one obvious answer. I really enjoyed problems where, you know, the harder you worked at it, the better a solution you'd get. I'm an analytics consultant, and so most of my job involves doing mathematics for companies. Lots of times companies will have lots of data they're sitting on, and they don't know what to do with it. So my job is to come in and help them take the data and do mathematics and statistics on it to tell them things they don't know. When I was doing freelance consulting, I got a gig working for a company that sells uh, gift baskets online. The problem was that the company had all these different orders being made, but they couldn't tell who was ordering them for business purposes, i.e. I'm sending these out to all my customers to thank them for their business, or who is ordering them for consumers, i.e. I'm a parent ordering it for my son at college. People ordered these baskets online, so when you're on the website, you type in what you want your gift message to be, which meant that the company had a database with hundreds of thousands of gift messages that people have sent out over the years. And so each one of these messages is a line of text, and you can split that text up uh, on your database into individual words. And once you have those words, you can analyze them using statistical techniques. Using a naive Bayes technique was really effective because we could put it on their server very easily and have it run very quickly in real time. I could then run a statistical analysis on it to try and figure out which of the words were relevant for consumers and which of the words were relevant for businesses. So we ended up implementing the algorithm. So it's running now on their server. So every time you make an order for a gift basket, it'll right away decide if that's a business order or a consumer order. Now they can very quickly decide, should you use send out a business mailing to that person or should they send out a consumer mailing? And so as you can imagine, better advertising leads to better revenue. So this is something they're really excited about. Mathematics is a really good background in problem solving. It's really been a great foundation for my career. I was able to use math to solve this company's problem, and now you know they're much more efficient. Uh, so that's it's just a really cool feeling. <laughs>